Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Backpack Hero. I am continuing with the ultimate juggernaut build, which has now got insanely better. I casually got 84 spikes for 4 mana. Well, hold on. What if I add more mana? This build is the best build I've ever had. I'm on floor 19 of Endless. It's a personal best, trying to make it to the moon. And will it happen today? Well, that's what I'm hoping for. There's a lot of cool things about this build. I have infinitely scaling block. And now, I also have a ton of spikes on the block. Spikes are damage that's dealt back to the enemy if... <laughs> they attack me. So, I believe this scales like crazy. Okay, it doesn't scale that hard, but it's really good. Actually, my spikes are outdoing my block, so they're just gonna attack themselves to death. 622. That's nutty damage. Dude's almost gone. Yeah, let's finish him off. And I broke a thousand spikes. Oh, interesting. You can go over a thousand spikes. So, this build is also capable of getting over a thousand block, but I kinda got boned. And the game capped me out at 999 block. It's it's BS, I know, but what are you gonna do? So here's how this video is gonna be going. A lot of the fights are gonna be absolutely trivial. So I'm pretty much only gonna be showing the exciting fights. The ones that involve poison, for example, and curses that I actually have to think and don't just spam the block button. Or I'll be showing boss battles and other high stakes battles like that. Anyways, I got nothing from this event. Oh, uh, first fight, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of damage here, I think. That's quite funny. A little bit of damage taken is not a big deal, but on this first turn, they're gonna hit me enough to wipe out just a little bit of my HP. So, if you haven't seen the previous parts of this run, I'll show you how this run works. There is a shield in the middle, the yellow shield with the mustache that, when you activate it, it activates all shields around it. So I get four shields for one mana. Gets me 24 block. Then I just recently got this thing called Coral, which says on use, this item gets plus two spikes this to self this turn, and all shields get plus two spikes to self. And basically that just results in a metric crap ton of spikes, and it, it's completely nuts. So there's also this Fox Rapier that I have, which has a lot of healing attached to it, but also whenever I activate it, the nearby shields get more block. So while I was only getting 24 block per energy before, now I get something like 48. And that can keep scaling for the entire rest of the fight. So I've got really good scaling, all things considered. I imagine this should go quite well, but now I just need to build up my spikes and I'll win. There we go, 672 spikes in one turn. You're not long for this world, buddy. I could just block once even and you're dead. GG. Spikes persist? I only lose one per turn and that's not a big deal when you have 700. Oh, I believe my build has just improved actually. With this final mana stone swap, I believe I can have fewer mana stones and still be able to create seven mana crystals. So, just checking. One, two, three, four, five, and then these three make six and seven. So now I have an additional space. I'm just half filling it with a water flask right now. But I'm sure there could be some good uses down the road for this. Not the water flask, but for the space. Something, anything good could go in there. Time for the first high stakes fight. The floor 21 boss. What does it look like? 3640 HP. Very cool. So I've been doing this thing uh, lately where I've just been kind of stockpiling consumables in the space where my ethereal energy would normally go because I found that the majority of my fights have actually been quite easy. So what I'm doing is just saving a lot of consumables for when the fights are actually hard. And that just means storing extra energy because that way I can have a more explosive turn one in the future. And then it won't, you know, then I, then I could not take damage like in the fight that I would have took damage in before. So here, even though I'm only getting 6 energy per turn, sure, I could be getting 11 if I spent all this, but that's a little wasteful. Plus, I'm about to get a huge power spike after this fight with its relic. I just want to keep stacking up spikes in the meantime. This guy's not do much except die, huh? What a total chump. There are some block-related relics I'm hoping for, so let's see if I get there. Hoping for the best. Here... doesn't look like it. 
Well, at least I can replace my mana stone because if I get one more three out of three mana stone, I can save yet another piece of space. None of these are good. I'm not even gonna take any of them so, so I can sell them. I, you may have noticed I'm not carrying any money on me anymore and that's because I've just given up on shops. Because I, it's just so unlikely that I'm getting anything that I want in a shop. Here, I'll take a random key though, just cause, I don't know, I, I see a chance to unlock a door, I'll take it. I'll see you guys in the next challenging fight. Ah, here we go. It's a floor 22 fight. Although this is a weird circumstance because I took the side path with the key. So it's gonna be a little bit, it's like I'm in a different area that I don't really have that much familiarity with. Maybe I've been here once, but if I have, I don't really remember it. These are enemies I don't recognize. So they must only be accessible if you take the key and then go down the stairs. So anyways, I'm facing an enemy that gives curse. This one's a little bit extra annoying because I could take th 43 damage or add three poison to myself every turn. I'll take the three poison. That seems way, way better. And here it's a 2,500 HP unit that is going to keep adding a curse every turn unless I do something about it. So what I'm just gonna do right now is remove all the poison because yeah, I have a thing that leeches poison from self when an adjacent weapon is used and then just build up block and I'll win soon enough. You know, maybe I don't even need to attack until I start taking damage though. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, actually this is gonna stink a little. I was supposed to get rid of that curse. I cannot remove a curse with a curse. I mean, does it matter? I'll just do this. The, the correct play was to use up a curse. But that's fine, I'll, I'll use them both up now. Just cause. I've got a little bit of poison on me, but I'm not really worried. Actually, you know what, I, I can leech a little bit out though. They're not really attacking for much. Yeah, just give it to me. Only downside is it looks like I don't have that much energy now, but I swear I'll be fine. Because now I'm in the territory where I can attack three times and block once, and I will easily be able to outpace anything that these curses do, and I have 527 spikes, so I guess I should be winning real soon, huh? Also, the damage on my sword does increase with every shot I make. So actually I'll just block once, or attack once more and then block, and then spikes will wipe you out. Nice. Back to full health. Moving on. Ooh. Finally got another huge mana stone. Well, this only means exciting things because now I have seven huge mana stones and can free up another spot in my inventory. Nah, even the pearl isn't worth it. I actually will be keeping my money with me. Said I wasn't taking gold before, but it's still better than something that adds damage to weapon when my main damage is my block. Buy a book? I have no idea what the average book does. Maybe it's exciting. Nah, it just gives adjacent diagonal weapons plus two damages combat. I remember this one. I knew it wasn't helpful, but maybe there was like one I hadn't seen before that would be helpful. Either way, this is all the lead up to the floor 24 boss. So here we go. Elder Mage time. When it takes damage, it adds a dodge. So I very likely want to be winning with block here. I also don't know what the hell this does. But yeah, I assume I just want to win via spikes. So what kind of minions do you summon? Three! Oh, one does poison. Wait, and the others add obscene block. Wait, what the hell is this? Holy crap, that's a lot of spikes. Okay, well I'm terrified of the poison, so I guess I actually do have to attack. Now you might be saying, well you're screwed now, your weapon doesn't do any damage, but I do have stopwatch where every single time it attacks, it does more damage. So I think I'm gonna use up water flask here to scale this and eventually kill this off. I need to use quite a bit. I think I'll actually max this out because what I would like to do is create this ethereal energy for the upcoming turns. Oh, that is a hell of a powerful summon. Uh, most notably, it's not attacking. The mage is just summoning more minions and neither of the minions attacked. So clearly I should be trying to wipe these out ASAP and build my own weapons damage. Now you're just gonna casually have 70 spikes on everything. Oh great, and another one. And oh, double great, It's they're not attacking at all. I have to win this with my fox sword. Uh, that's terrifying. So how much do I block for? 99. 
So I need to block twice just so I don't take damage at all to this guy because because I have vampirism, I get hit twice with spikes. But good news is they don't attack, so it's not like I need leftover block. That's still a nightmare because it's scaling very fast. Thankfully, the newly spawned in minion does not have any spikes on it. I could just farm it, but otherwise it's going to destroy me. I need a block three times just to not get damaged by spikes. Holy crap. Here, I believe I can get a hit in. So why don't I do it? I think it gets a little bit easier now. Well, no, now he's going to summon two minions. Do I kill both of these? Oh yeah, I four shot, so it looks like it. But that does mean I can't really spend much time on this guy, unless if I can block twice and be safe. The answer to that is no, I need to block three times to be safe. So I need to grind out these minions until I can uh, two shot, and only then can I start going in. Or three shot might be enough. Yeah, maybe I can go in now. It looks like I do need to block three times to not take any damage. So, I mean, I'm only going to get one hit in and then I'll wipe it out next cycle. And then only finally could I start chipping down the Elder Mage. But I kind of messed up because it has 242 spikes. Did I mess up though? Well, I guess the first turn could have been better, but I didn't really know what this thing was going to do. Uh, yeah, that's kind of terrifying. And actually, you know, it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> if, hypothetically, these enemies get enough spikes, aka more than 500, I literally cannot win because my block is capped at 999 for some reason. I don't like that decision. And then I would never be able to kill. Unless if I just removed vampirism from my deck, but then if they got 999 spikes, it'd all be over for me. So here, I mean, I can't get through this mage's spikes. I just need to make my weapon stronger and stronger. Yeah, okay, I'm two-shotting now. Maybe that means I can do some stuff. So only six whaps, and now... Okay, I need to block just three times, and I'm safe. So here we go. First shot, and now he's got to dodge, and that's fine. So, I mean, it's a slow grind, but I think it'll work out. So block... Oh, now I can just block twice, though. I mean, that doesn't change anything. Because he still gets a dodge. I, I can't get a second attack in. Alright, one attack per turn. Grinded it out. Here we go. Oh, I just one-shot. Hold on. Does that mean I can do a little bit of an extra thing of damage? No, he still dodges. Oh, that's because... My regular attack gets hit by the dodge. The vampirism does damage to him, and damage to him gives him more dodge. And then his spikes just hit into my armor. Oh, that's still a shame. So I really can only attack this guy once per turn, even if I'm one-shotting here. That's fine. It's dead next turn. No? Two turns. Bam. 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 Next turn for sure. Do a little block, block, and then just absolutely get him. And then get the rest of these three for the hell of it too. There we go. That was a grind of a fight. Hopefully get something good. Consumables get bonus healing, no, and cleansing flame. Well, it reduces all weapons reduce spikes from all enemies. I feel like that's a little bit less useful now. You know what, though? I'll take this one just to get it out of the pool. I, I, I'm i pretty sure there is one good relic that I'm looking for. I've only seen it in other people's screenshots. And I'm not sure if I'm remembering it right, but I think it buffs block plus weapon synergy somehow. I don't know if it actually will help my, with my build, but I hope to find it. This is going to be tough, though. Floor 26 through 27 is going to be tough for 20, 25 and 26 at least. Gotta fight against two fire gecks. I think I should be fine. But honestly, I don't know. I mean, they did give me trouble in the floor. Well, floor um 16, so they might now. I think I am gonna just do away with Cleansing Flame. I don't even know why it took it. That was a waste of time because I think I actually wanna go all out for this fight. Hit me for 87. So I believe I can. 
buff up my shields once. Then I block for how many? 34, so I do have to block three times. A clean 100. I am a little worried, though, about the curse is slow. I think I win this by scaling my shields with my sword. Can I skip this curse? It's an annoying one. It gives them rage. Yeah, strangely, I think I <laughs> do this. Losing out on this little buckler, I know. Um, but his only purpose was adding spikes. And frankly, I don't think I win this fight with spikes. I think I win this fight by getting up my block to insane numbers via the sword. So I will live and hopefully not die by the sword. Unfortunately, I gotta use up that curse. So I'm gonna be hit for oh, a lot of damage. 135 to be exact. So how many times will I need to block for that? I will need to block five times. Wait, maybe four? I believe I actually can block four times. We'll see if I did the math right, because that should take me all the way to 164, which keeps me alive. Could I have blocked three times? Oh God. Okay, Curse of Weakness is what I wanted to see. Weak to myself, I don't care, and regen to enemies, I don't care. I don't want either slow or them getting rage. So here, take it. And now I'm getting dealt 176 damage. So let me see at four how much I block for. I block for 63. So I can block three times and be all right. Yeah, okay. And it's scaling faster. I'm blocking fewer and fewer. But I mean, their damage does kind of scale still. And you got to be extra careful. I got to still use this. Now I'm getting hit for 224. So let me see, how much do I block for one? If it's really 224, I can block three times, just barely. But I have to make sure my math is right. Plus six is 164. Yep, math is right, I can do this. And then I will barely survive with like a single digit block remaining. Take this curse. More slow and angry. That's annoying. Oh, I had more than single digit. Maybe it just scales faster than I thought, or maybe I calculated something wrong. Either way, I survived, and I guess that's really all that matters. And their damage is getting bigger. I can't tell. Maybe I should be able to figure out if I'm constantly outscaling them. Mm, that's something that I would need to really understand these Gex a little bit better to figure out. I get hit for 272. This block, okay, I can block three times again. I think it's getting better. I'm gonna end up with more block left over than last time by a little bit. So maybe I can get in the rhythm of blocking three times. It's a risky rhythm to get into, but I think it's correct. Yeah, it is. It is, because it seems I gain seven block on each of these shields. So that's plus 21 block, and then three times is plus 63. So I effectively gain 63 block a turn, and I don't think they scale that fast. I don't think they get an additional 63 block or damage a turn, even with the burn stacking. So that is relief. Wonderful, wonderful relief. I'll probably even eventually get to a point where I only need a block twice, but I think I'll win before that happens. Oh yeah, this is not your everyday fight though. It does require a little bit of precision. So I guess it's just gonna be getting harder and harder. Lovely. Well, good news is this one will wipe himself out with spikes. And then one, now that there's gonna be only one of them, this should be a lot more manageable. Just remember to do this and just get him. Block to 564. <laughs> you know, there's still though the worry that I, there could be so much burn stacked on me that I would um die because I wouldn't be able to get a high enough block number. And also, I would need to block twice when he's not attacking. Very cool. Yeah, I feel like that legit could happen during some fights. And actually, you know what? Style points, let's kill him with spikes. Max out block. You're dead, bro. You're dead, GG. Yeah, that, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I hope that doesn't bite me. Oh, this is a nightmare though. No 
helpful consumables, and now I'm about to take on the hardest fight, Snake and Fire Gek. Yeah, this is very losable. Let's see. Because I have not improved at all against Poison, but the Snake has only gotten better. Oh, and I'm already starting by taking five damage. I feel like that kind of had to be done, though. Well, maybe it didn't have to be. We'll see. 44 poison. Yeah, that's certainly scary. No doubt about it. And actually, no, I heal up really quickly, so it's fine. I just got to be sure I block the burn. So actually, let me do it now before I forget. Yeah, do it now before I forget. Uh, once I get start getting cursed, though, it's going to be scary. 44 poison is genuinely terrifying, though. And it's going to give me poison every other turn. Yeah, that's nerve-wracking. Down to 22. Do I actually heal enough? And then I'm still going to need to block. Because now I'm going to be hit for a lot more damage. I'm going to be hit for... 133. And how much do I block for? Okay, enough to do it in two blocks. I've sucked up enough poison to survive this. But then he's about to lay on more poison to me. And I would be shocked if I could get out of that alive. Well, yeah, there is no way I'm getting out of this, right? Let's say even I attack 10 times, there's no way, right? Uh, I'm technically alive. But that's just the technicality. I'm dead. I'm super dead. I only need to block once. But the new poison's gonna kill me, and I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Damn, GG. I unfortunately could not improve my poison abilities. There, I really think there's one relic that could help me out, but I just didn't roll into it. So, this was a hell of an endless mode run. Floor 25, dead to poison. Almost got screwed by the block cap. I really did, but let, let's go down to my only weakness. GG. This was a hell of a run. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I, you know, tried to make it interesting, but played as well as I could. I would like to thank you all for watching this journey. It's been a fun time. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Hopefully I get some more crazy runs and can find things that'll even beat poison. Hope you all have a wonderful day and peace.